Hey guys, you know it's Joe and Joey here and we are going to look at this scope. This is an Amazon product or an AliExpress product. This goes for about $475 Canadian, but let's see if it's actually good. Let's get to it. Okay, Joey, I need you to help me uh, do this telescope here. Do you want to help me review this guy here? I mean, I know it's not the products that you're usually used to. I guess we just found out right there. He doesn't even like it that much that he's out of here. He doesn't even want to be part of the video. So, okay. Okay, guys, so here is a telescope from Amazon and AliExpress, that type of thing. Now, is it worth it though? You know that saying, is it too good to be true or you get what you pay for? Is this the same thing? So this is a six inch reflecting telescope, six inch F5, 750 millimeter focal length. Celestron has the Omni six inch, which comes on the CG4 steel tripod, six inch reflecting telescope. Now in Canada, that's about So it's not too cheap, but this one is just shy of half price. Is it gonna be good quality for half price or are you gonna get what you pay for? Okay, so let's take a look at this focuser. It's all plastic focuser. It's not a metal one and it's only inch and a quarter. Now the good ones will come with a quarter uh, metal and then the even better ones will have a two inch with an inch and a quarter adapter. Now this is a 150 millimeter times 750 millimeter focal length and it's made by this company which is a new no-name brand type of thing. It has a little cap on the front so you could either put a solar filter and look at the sun that way or stop it down and look at the moon since the moon is so bright. Uh, the secondary is really close to the edge there so I would think on very dewy nights and the summer humidity so you might need a dew cap here okay let's look at this guy the 6x30 finder scope it does have three thumb screws here a locking nut it's okay but again uh, it's probably almost the same as a red dot finder they're different but not the best quality I probably would upgrade it to a um, ride gel or something like that or a tell red now there's the mirror so the mirror is not center dot so not a big deal you could take it out you can take the mirror out put a center dot but remember it's also a spherical mirror so it does not have that barlow in the focuser so it's not a Burge jones design so let's look at this okay first the tripod this looks like it's about an inch, roughly, uh, steel tripod. It's okay-ish, one counterweight. I guess it's, it's okay. Now this mount, I guess it's like an Asian EQ3, but really it's a little tiny bit better than a EQ2. So I'm going to call it an EQ2.5. It's not as good as like the Skywatcher EQ3, but it's a tiny bit better, I think, than an EQ2. Okay, it comes with two slow motion controls, that uh, type of thing. Uh, here you can put your, your motor drive uh, and hooks up to here. There's your wheel, your latitude adjustment over here. You can lock it down, which is okay. Uh, you lock it down here. Now it is a Vixen type of mount right there a tiny bar maybe three inches the rings are very close probably would have been better like a six or eight inch bar and the rings be like uh well let's say this one and maybe up here something like that would be a little bit better okay you get two inch and a quarter eye pieces at least it's not 0 0.965 the really 
ice. But, you know, it's the Kellners. Now, I guess that's okay because I guess even the Skywatcher, Orion, and Mead, Celestra, all the big name brands, and their starter telescopes sometimes get Kellners anyway. So they're not the greatest, but they're okay to get started for somebody brand new. And remember, this price point is very cheap. It's a little bit less than half. You get something a little weird here as far as you get a camera adapter. So you can put your camera here and then you can put it to the eyepiece. And it has like a built-in extendable Barlow. So that makes sense. So it's like this is the Barlow. You're going to put your camera here. And you're just going to kind of amplify whatever the image scale is here. Because I, I don't see how you're going to use an eyepiece with that. So I think it's a two times Barlow. So it's just going to turn it into like a 1500 millimeter focal length. Um, and just take pictures like that. I think really this should have just been a regular or cell phone camera adapter. And then that way you can put whatever eyepiece you want in here or a combination of eyepiece Barlow and get really close. But it seems like to me, like it's just a two times Barlow that's kind of made built into it. I don't think you can open or take it out. So it's, that's, you're only going to use it at like prime focus with a, a two times ampl amplification. And then that's as close as you're going to get. So that's a, a little, Tiny bit weird. Now, I want to get you close and see. I tightened up everything where the tripod made the mounts, where this tray uh, hooks up to the tripod. Everything is as tight as it can be, even maybe a little too tight, I would say. But look at the. Like just the smallest touch. It's just, it wobbles like crazy i've never seen this type of now i guess if you do that wow it's still shaking i don't know if you can see that but even if you just do the focuser it shakes like oh my god it's i guess now maybe maybe the telescope might be okay this part up here you know the eyepieces is you know in this price range remember i'm not saying this is amazing but for something that's ha less than half the cost of, let's say, the Celestar Omni, maybe this part up here and the eyepieces, accessories is doable. But it's just kind of down here. It just, I don't know. I've never seen anything quite that shaky. It's, I don't know. Like I said, it's as tight as I can put it. I guess that's where you get what you pay for. You know what I'm going to do next week? episode i am going to try to get let's say uh, something similar to the omni cg4 model if i can and then that way we're going to kind of compare it side by side is this shakiness here just totally you know you get what you pay for and you're going to be so uh, i guess when you're viewing uh, is it going to really turn you off but i guess again that's what you pay for this is why something like this is like almost 500 Canadian, okay, was the cheapest. Now on Amazon, I saw it for 2,800 something, 2,900, but those are ridiculous prices. This was the cheapest I, I found it, like 460 with the taxes, it'll be almost 500 bucks. Now still cheaper than 1,200 for the Celestron, but is it worth paying double and getting something, you know, the proper, you know, Whatever, same size, but with a proper mirror, proper focuser, pro you know. So let me see if I can get it for next week, and then let's compare it side by side and see if the Celestron is, is this wobbly or wobbly. But remember, there are some people that don't want to spend a lot, and they see this type of thing, and they're like, well, okay, six inches for 500 bucks. Why am I going to buy a Celestron? And this is maybe for you guys out there, you brand new people uh, looking, and this is like, again, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you're getting the same size, but everything else is kind of cheap quality. I, you could just feel this focuser is really, and it's, it's, it's so shaky just moving the focuser. You probably gotta wait like two seconds. Imagine when you're at high powers, it's just gonna be, the images, the planet is gonna be going, you're never gonna have a steady view, right? Even these slow motion controls, I feel like 
over time, it's probably gonna snap or break because I don't know, I just feel the connection between the aluminum part and this plastic part is gonna give away. Um, anyway, again, that's what you pay for. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Let me see if I can get a more proper six inch on a better mount. And I wanna show you guys, especially you new people out there, why paying maybe 50% better for something to double is gonna get you something that you're gonna be much happier with. Okay, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Joey's back, he, he's calmed down. Like, comment, and subscribe. No, he doesn't even wanna talk about this guy. So he wants to go. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. If you guys are on any of the forums and maybe somebody's asked what's the difference between a cheap one and a good one of the same size or any videos that I have, if you wouldn't mind sharing my links with them, that'd be great. If you know anybody getting into the hobby, uh, show them my channel. And I also have a members video, which means once a month I put up a video just for the members, okay? And um, it's only 99 cents a month. Anyway, guys. Why not you? Why not me?